It's Warcraft Day! Greetings everybody, this is Stormy with the capital Z coming at you with a game from the League of Forgotten Battlefields. This is going to be a game on Secret Valley and it will be between me no micro also known as Elf no micro who is uh, basically admin to a popular Facebook Warcraft 3 community known as Warcraft 3 uh, known as this Warcraft Reforged community a pretty big one there and he is spawning on the top right as the yellow Nidal player he will be taking on the current reigning defending uh, Warcraft 3 champion of forgotten battlefields mofad as the purple orc on the bottom left the map is going to be secret valleys because this is the league of forgotten battlefields the league where we will going be will we be going back in time and playing on maps from the previous era the current map pool includes secret valley turn stand uh Knollwood, and yeah, I'm kind of having some time remembering those. I can actually put up the banner right here and that should give us all the maps here. So these are the maps and we don't really have too many players this season sadly, but we will make the most of what we have. So this is going to be Mofad versus Mino Micro. I have booster on but booster isn't working. Why is booster not working? Dang it. Dang it booster. Not sure if it's putting up on the stream or it's, nah, it's not coming up on the stream either. So we won't be having booster for this game at least. Not gonna be having the interface. As we have Mino Micro's Wisp coming in towards Mofad's base. Mofad's going to be going in for the yeah, this is definitely the headhunter build. On the other side, Mino Micro going for a pretty standard idol build, opening up with Keeper of the Grove, going for this camp, the popular Knoll uh Warden and uh not a warden, old Knoll Assassin and uh, overseer camp which a lot of players like to creep out as the one as the first one to get their heroes nearer to level 2 as soon as possible it is also a popular camp to get harassed well because this is a bit harder to take out especially with those null assassins on the back line uh, what's it gonna be I believe it's gonna go for treants uh, forces of nature is definitely gonna be a better option against assassins because assassins cannot purge like the null wardens you got that little benefit going down there you know micro losing a lot of hp on that engine of war gotta be a bit careful should be fine he should be fine for the most part should try to eat up a tree and then plant it right down there and it should be good to go also planting some wisps outside the base yeah there comes the first headhunter moving out towards the enemy base we got torn chieftain coming in as the first hero and i'm not sure if i predicted that probably predicted it wrong even if i did gonna be torn chieftain Headhunter build versus a plain uh, or rather standard night elf. Let's see how this turns out to be. As Mino Micro has already done creeping one camp, this is a late hero for Mofad, so that's gonna be a thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure Mino Micro already cr uh, looked at what Mofad was up to and will have sort of an idea of what is in uh, coming in for him. He should have a better idea since uh, Mofad was not the one that scouted and uh, he should definitely be able to prepare for the headhunter or rather mass headhunter play there. Keeper of the Grove going in toward the other side while some of the units crept out that one green camp there. Yeah, coming in going after those headhunters damn they already got three headhunters man what the hell. <laughs> this build is Himba. Headhunters are definitely Himba right now. Archer getting caught. Moon Mino Micro not having the best micro right now and ooh war stomp war stomp gonna kill that poor little archer that went into shadow melt shadow melt nah, no problem i it's just gonna stomp the ground and reveal ya yeah. uh, hey there god's worker free thank you for the follow by the way and welcome to the stream uh this map brings me back absolutely this these were the golden days of warcraft secret valley um Terna stand og Riskful Glades was a popular ladder map, although it wasn't really popular among the tournament, but it was pretty popular on the ladder. Um, Riskful Glades, and you had you had more of them. Nolwood was a Nolwood was, uh, was like super popular. It's no longer used for one v one, so we kind of thought we could bring it in for one v one since it's mostly a two v two map right now. Nolwood, and you got more. 
as Mino Micro gonna pick up that little item that he left behind. Well, he technically didn't really, wasn't even there when that item got dropped from the creep, so wouldn't really be picking it up until he got there. While well, Moffat's going in for some creeping. I don't think Moffat got one kill on the archer, and that was pretty much it. That's really all that Mino Micro brought to the table there, so that's really gonna be it. You know, I go going over the top of that uh, plateau for checking. I don't know what. There's really no way anybody can actually creep out a red camp. Really no way. As uh, he is going in for Huntresses. It's going to be a double AOW Huntress. No, going to be a single AOW Huntress from what I see. Angel of War being upgraded to the... I um, mean, like Tree of Life being upgraded into Tree of Ages. Year 2 tech kick going to kick in real soon. And actually, same for Mofad. Who, despite of having a late hero build, uh, managed to get himself back in up to speed with that. And yeah, this is why headhunters are just broken. You're gonna get some steel range at upgrade over here. Uh, some upgrades for the headhunters there. And the Tavern Chieftain gonna be tanking a lot of damage. They're already down to red HP. Should be fine for the most part though. Should be fine. And the keeper lurking around actually. No, that's not the keeper. That's actually the Naga Seavish. Naga Seavish detecting. Rather not detecting Naga Seavish didn't detect anything. Just uh, gonna be spawned from the tavern there. And I don't think either of the players saw each other. It is night time. Although Night Elf units uh, will have Ultra Vision after an upgrade. Not sure if uh, Mino Micro went for that either. And I'm not sure if no, it, it wouldn't really affect. Naga Seavage, since the Naga Seavage is not an idle unit, I don't think it's gonna affect that. As uh, Mino Micro grows in for this particular camp here, the opposite one to what uh, Mofad went. And Mofad going in for that first camp that people like to, but I don't, that is kind of an overkill. I don't think Mofad wants to creep that camp out really, but well, you got this camp if you wanna qu quickly creep out a green camp. And uh, if level 3 is all you want, then this camp is gonna be kind of an overkill. And got a pretty good item, Manual of Strength. 50 plus HP on that beefy, beefy Torn Chieftain. Got a 15 second potion of Inwell on the side for the Keep of the Grove, Mino Micro picking that up. And no uh, boots of speed. No boots of speed. Mino Micro is a bit worried with this location. I don't know why. He's checking that red spot again and again. And there's really no practical way anybody can actually creep that spot out or try to set anything up there. Not really sure what's up with that. And he goes in for the burrows. And burrows being uh, occupied with those peons immediately. Here comes those headhunters going after those. Hunters is with the piercing damage. There's way too many of them. Shadow Hunter coming in as the second hero. Speed scroll! Speed scroll! He's gonna get in range. Speed scroll, apart from being an escape route, is also an amazing tool to get good mobility and get around your opponent units, get a good position and target them down one by one. Pretty good item. Definitely worth using it for such purposes as uh, Mino Micro heads back to his base. He is going for Ancient of Lores and getting Triads. Oh, no, Triads not not gonna work against Headhunters. Definitely not gonna work against Headhunters. They are unarmored. They got unarmored armor there. I mean, they're definitely not gonna work. Like, you need something else against these uh, Headhunters there. The only thing the Triads kind of negate would be the Stomp, but that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I don't really think it's a good a good option to go for Triads versus Headhunters, as Mofad. Getting a stomp off of those hunt resources and gonna take them down one by one. Uh, double volleys are just good enough to take them down, but Mino Micro will manage to save one of the huntresses using staff reservation. Okay, uh, okay, Mofat kind of. I don't know if he kind of presumed that there was a Shadow Melt Huntress there or just did it by accident or just did it as a temper tantrum because he already lost one stomp there, but he had one more left in the tank. Gonna get that Keeper of the Grove with it, but as I said, Dryads are not gonna work in this. Unless until you like have a mass of them or something, but right now you need something else to deal with these Huntresses. Cold Arrow plus the Poison Sting, that's one way of dealing with things, but I don't think that's gonna be enough. You need something else. You definitely need something else versus this as he loses his shop. Uh oh, Naga Seavage taking so much damage courtesy of those Hunters. 
and they have a shaman in the background purging the units one by one this looks bad big war storm going down mino micros keeper I'm gonna use the 15 second potion of inwell and now the huntress is being or rather the dryer is being targeted uh oh naga siewich naga siewich gets taken out and right now mofat is trampling over mino micros base right now this looks terrible mino micro is in a tight spot of at level 4 with the Torrent Chieftain, this game is over. There is no way Mino Micro is coming back from this. If he would have put down a couple of uh, Tree of Lives, uh, uh, something around, would have worked out. But he currently does not have a lot coming. He has a lot of gold in the tank, but... Okay, he managed to... He managed to ward Mofat off, but... I mean, Mofat just playing super safe right now, and okay, pl making an making an opening there that works. You could do that. <laughs> Haven't I? Don't, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, I I played Secret Valley so much, but I've never seen an opening being made in this, <laughs> like ever, <laughs> like ever. I've never seen an opening being made over there. Uh, yeah, this is probably the first time there. Nice. Micro Micro gonna pick off this camp, and I mean. Mofat was giving time to Mino Micro. I don't think this is a good decision. He literally had Mino Micro on the roll. There was nothing he could have done. There was absolutely nothing Mino Micro could have done. And Mofat would have easily managed to snipe down everything Mino Micro had. Le these are all Mino Micro's units. Majority of them are at least. Mofat maybe one or two, but that's pretty much it. Mofat definitely had the upper hand there. And I mean, right now he's kind of giving this game back to Mino Micro. He's letting Mino Micro come back to this fight, and I think that's a very bad decision. I don't think that should be a, that should be what he wants. A circle upgrade coming in, and wow, Acronite ranged upgrade coming in as well. They're gonna have so much damage with that when that's down. These hunter, head hunters should be able to volley down anything with one uh, with not one hit together on it. Uh, Mofat goes in for the Red Cam, the Ogre Lord Cam, and all the Berserkers, all the Headhunters have now been upgraded to Berserkers, going in for the Berserk ability and so much damage. So much damage. Let's see how many volleys they need. Um, four? I'd say four. Legion Doom Horn! Woohoo, that's, that's bad. Like, Mofat wants to do an overkill right now. He already got, like, Sabi Mask, Crystal Ball. And now he's gonna get a Legion Doom Horn. So that's really, that's really okay. If you ask me. You already got the speed with the Endurance Aura, and now you're gonna be able to overkill it using that Legion Doom Horn. Uh, considering the fact that these Headhunters, these Berserkers, at this point right now, DPS is their thing. As Mofat drops down the ball to reveal whether there's an expansion or not. And uh, Mino Micro getting to level four. Well, getting some stage line horn of storm wind, but I mean, I mean, it's it's an okay item, but really, lion horn isn't gonna do too much. Wisp coming in, they're gonna detonate all over those heroes, getting the mana down. And I mean, I think that was a bad decision on the side of Mofat. Like, okay, they had sort of a spike going on there, and uh, unpause. I mean, Mofat kind of just went in with his army. I don't really know what his plan was uh, when he did that. As he got Bloodlust coming in. I mean, because yeah, because the DPS wasn't good enough. You're gonna, you need more DPS. This build is all about DPS. As Mino Micro tries to almost clear out the entirety of that uh, camp there. You got, you got the Berserk ability. You got uh, the third attack upgrade. You got Endurance Aura, and you got Legion Doom as well. That plus Unholy Aura. So that's so much. And whoa, Mofat forced to TP away. Okay, that's surprising. That is rather surprising. Mino Micro uh, managing to muster enough firepower to force a TP on the side of Mofad, but Mofad's got so much DPS he can kill literally any unit with single or double volley with those berserkers. This looks crazy to me right now. As he puts down some of them. Rejuvenations across the bears. Definitely needs, needs more. Like he needs about I don't know. I'm gonna say like eight bears or something if he wants to deal with those hand hunters. And even with the eight bears, it's gonna be a challenge. And damn, he didn't see whether the red camp was taken 
are already taken or not. So, gonna head out. Camps are almost devoid. I mean, this map is almost devoid of uh, camps right now. I think we only got like this camp and one camp on the side of actually both of the Murloc camps behind the base. This map le needs an LV version, to be honest. Somebody needs to make an LV version of this map. And whoa, level 5 Torn Chieftain. Are you. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Speed scroll. Speed scroll, baby. Speed scroll. Naga Sea Witch gets compromised. TC heading in, and I think TC should have a potion of invul or something. But Mino Micro calls for the GG. Game goes to MoFad. Wow. That was. Great. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and listening. If you have enjoyed what you have seen, don't forget to hit the like button while watching this as a video on YouTube. Subscribe for more. I will be seeing you on the next episode of Warcraft Day. And be sure to join the Discord community uh, for the capital Z and stay in touch to know when the next season will be coming in. So we're gonna end this video right here. And I'm gonna have to check up if we're having another game right away or we're gonna have to another replay.